Some of you may be deciding between an RTX 2060 laptop, such as the Electronics Mix 17, or the GTX 1660 Ti, which I reviewed in the Helios 300. Well, let's see how they compare. So in this chart, I measured the average and max power usage and clock rates across six different games. But if you have a quick look at the top right hand corner, I uh, showed a comparison between the number of shaders between the 1660 Ti and the 2060, and the 2060 has 25% extra shaders. Now, if you look at the chart, the uh, max clock rate is pretty similar, around about 1800 or so, 1800 to 1900 megahertz, whilst the average clock rate on the 1660 Ti is substantially higher, of course, 1612 versus 1318 and uh, that it represents 22% uh, higher average clock rate. Uh, so that uh, pretty much offsets the 25% less shader. So we do expect performance to be fairly similar. So let's take a look. So here's some actual Far Cry 5 gameplay with the 2060 on the left, 1660 Ti on the right. And of course, frame rates will vary, but as you can see, there's not a huge difference there between them really. Now in my uh, benchmarks, I did use the inbuilt benchmark tool to, to measure the performance. So here we have a shot of the Tomb Raider DX12 higher settings. The 2060 of the Mech 17 on the left and the 1660 Ti of the Helios 300 on the right. And indeed the 2060 does perform better. So here we have Witcher 3 Ultra settings, again with the 2060 on the left and the 1660 Ti on the right. And generally there's about at least a 10% difference in performance in favor of the 2060 I would say. Battlefield 5 DX11 Ultra settings. This is another one that does appear to favor the RTX 2060 a little bit more than the GTX 1660 Ti. Nonetheless, both perform very well. Now turning to PUBG using ultra settings on the Irangal map. There's actually not that much to choose between the RTX 2060 on the left and the GTX 1660 Ti. They're very close. And finally, we have Overwatch using Epic settings. Uh, playing a full multiplayer game using fraps to record the frame rates and actually the RTX 2060 does fall slightly behind the GTX 1660 Ti here. All right, so let's break down the performance. We've got Far Cry 5 Ultra settings using the inbuilt benchmark and you know there's not a lot between it. There's only 4%. The Shadow of the Tomb Raider DX12 higher settings again using the inbuilt benchmark. You know, there's not a huge amount. There certainly did seem to be a slight benefit and we're looking at about 6% on average there. Now Witcher 3 using Fraps to record the same set of gameplay uh, using single player of course. Uh, there was a bigger difference in favor for the uh, RTX 2060 looking at about 14% difference. So Battlefield 5 multiplayer Rotterdam map DX11 ultra settings. There was certainly a benefit here using the RTX 2060 and this is of course not even using any ray tracing. Um, so that was good to see about a 16% improvement there. So PUBG Ultra settings on the Irangal map, of course, using fraps to measure the multiplayer gameplay. And there's actually not much difference here. Hardly anything between the two, about 1% difference. So it does show it all depends on what game you play. Finally, Overwatch Epic settings using fraps to record the gameplay and using 100% uh, resolution scaling. 134 FPS with the 1660 Ti and 128 with the 2060. Not much difference between it there, but a slight advantage to the GTX 1660 Ti. So if you average all of this out, we're only looking at about a 5% difference, which is not a huge difference between two, these two graphics cards. So as we said earlier, the 1660 Ti has a higher average clock rate of about 22% over the 2060, but it does have 25% less shaders. So the result we saw of an extra 5% boost for the 2060 does seem to confirm this. So you can see why the 1660 Ti is so popular, particularly if you don't want to make use of those tensor cores and ray tracing. So should you buy the 2060 over the 1660 Ti? Well, that depends on what's important to you, but I certainly wouldn't pay any more than 10% extra. Anyway, hope you found that useful. Remember, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.